key fundamental of boat handling is the effect that the propeller has when you're going astern. Propellers are designed to push the boat forward through the water and pull it backwards when a stern is engaged. Props are handed either left hand or right hand, referring to their rotation in forward gear. Because of a prop's rotation, it may also make the stern walk to one side. This action is called prop walk and is more prominent when going astern. It's useful to know what your boat will do before you leave the berth, so to find out prop walk, run the engine astern with the boat moored up. Look over the sides of the boat and for more wash coming out of one side more than the other. Prop wash to starboard means that the stern kicks to port when going astern. So the engine's on, we're safely tied up alongside, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put the boat astern, and there she goes with a few revs on, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look over one side of the boat and then the other. And what we're hoping to see is we're hoping to see wash coming outside one side of the boat and not much wash coming outside the other. So let's have a look. Let's have a look over this side first. And if we have a look in the water, you can see that apart from the cooling water, there's no movement at all. Let's have a look over on the other side. Ah, there you go. There's loads of wash over the side of this side. So what's actually happening is as the wash is coming over, the boat is getting pushed that way. So on this boat, the propeller, because the wash is coming outside on the starboard side, the stern of the boat is getting kicked to port. So now we know how the boat's going to be affected when we're going astern, what we can do is we can leave from here and go and see how that works in practice. So what we're, what we're going to do is we'll have a motor up this marina aisle up here and we'll be able to see how that prop work really starts to kick the boat when we go astern. Let's just turn the boat around and down the aisle we go. Okay, so we've got it levelled up with the wind here. Now uh, what I'm going to do is if I go astern now, let's just see how the boat reacts. And there, we, there it is. You can see that the back of the boat is really getting pushed out to the left and we're getting lots of wash coming out to starboard here. And the boat is just continuing to get pulled around with that propeller walk just walking the back of the boat around to the port hand side. So that's kicking the back of the boat to the left hand side. And now because we've got the boat going backwards, we've got water flow over the rudder, we've now got control of the boat, the propeller effect is nullified because we've got the water running past the hull and running past the rudder. Most boat handling that you do under power can be done either just in or just out of gear. But occasionally you really need to twist the boat around and the way that you can do that is by using short sharp bursts of power but only after you've put the helm hard over and what that does is it diverts the propeller thrust onto the rudder blade so that it spins the boat around. So let's just see what that looks like. I'm going to put the helm hard over and then put a big but short splodge of power. And then off and what we've done there is you can see that the propeller thrust has pushed out that way. It's spinning the boat, but what we're not doing is we're not actually gaining much momentum. The boat's still going very slowly, but she's turning a lot. So we've turned all of that power into turning motion. And that's really important to do. So there we have it. Two good effects of the prop. One, the natural tendency of prop walk which can happen on most boats, useful to find out before you leave the pontoon. And as we found on this boat, it's walking the boat to the, the back of the boat around to port. And propeller thrust, which you can do on any boat, putting the wheel over before you apply the power.